All right, so I never thought I would say this, but I'm officially breaking up with ChatGPT. Now, unlike with a bad relationship where you say it's not me, it's you, but in this case, it's not me. It's actually you, ChatGPT. Actually, it's totally ChatGPT. After months of frustrating conversations that felt like debugging a legacy code base written by a caffeinated intern, I've had enough. Stubbornly wrong answers, paying more for less. It's like dancing, dating a, a narcissistic JavaScript framework. But when Gemini 2.0 walked into my life, and let me tell you, this isn't no jQuery, Google has turned Gemini around in a huge way, and ChatGPT is officially yesterday's news. So let's dive into this today and why I'm canceling my ChatGPT subscription. Welcome to Startup Pack. I'm Spencer Tomlinson. Here at Startup Pack, we train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps and build custom software solutions for companies. With over a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've seen more frameworks rise and fall than JavaScript libraries, but this one, this is a game changer. All right, so I've been using ChatGPT for a while now, and we're gonna dissect today why I'm ditching ChatGPT and going for Google Gemini 2. Now, and I think you may wanna join in this revolution. So let's break this down into some key points that'll uh, make make you question why you ever put up with ChatGPT shenanigans. So Gemini's context window is so big, it could probably hold the entire internet. Well, maybe not the entire internet, but definitely a significant chunk. And if you really think about who's powering chat, um, Google Gemini, it's actually Google who does really kind of hold the whole internet. So forget about feeding information like a baby bird. Gemini can handle a million tokens at once. That's like giving it the complete works of Shakespeare and expecting it to write a sequel to Hamlet. Now, no problem, says, chat, says Gemini, while well, ChatGPT is still trying to figure out how to use a semicolon. Remember those times when you'd be working with ChatGPT and it would suddenly go totally rogue, sprout, spouting out random facts like a drunken Wikipedia editor? These are called hallucinations, and they were enough to make you question your sanity. With Gemini, it's getting a lot better. So it's definitely moved from like this inept like five-year-old to maybe closer to an early teen, right? Gemini has definitely done a lot better, and it's way less prone to these AI meltdowns, which means that you can trust its output a little bit more uh, than you can 100% test code coverage, right? So if you see 100% test code coverage, you're definitely going to give it a smell test. In this case, you know, Gemini is similar. So... If you need to analyze a big data set that's so big that it makes your hard drive weep, well, Gemini will laugh in the face of big data. And of course, because it's brought to you by the folks who know big data at Google, right? It can crunch numbers faster than an overclocked CPU, making it the ultimate tool for data scientists, researchers, and anyone who needs to make sense of information that would make Excel explode. So it's like having a supercomputer in your pocket, but without the risk of setting your pants on fire. Now, Gemini is a, is a pretty good at coding too. It can write some good boilerplate plate code for you and it really can help you to get some hack together mess uh, together so again as I always say it's not going to solve all of your problems AI is a great tool it's not going to do everything for you but as far as a reliable tool it's definitely scoring in some of the higher um, higher uh, ranges so Speaking of code, if your, company, if your company's tech stack is, uh, is held together with more spaghetti code than an Italian restaurant, check out startuppack.com because we specialize in building robust, scalable, and maintainable software solutions that will make your developers happier than a room full of free pizza. So check out startuppack.com slash Spencer and let us help you out. Now, remember how ChatGPT would confidently give you wrong answers and argue with you like a toddler with a sugar rush, like a toddler with a sugar rush. Gemini is more chill. It actually listens to your corrections and learns from its mistakes. I've definitely had to train it a little bit as I've switched, whereas there were some things ChatGPT I'd had trained at this point, but that training went much faster with Gemini. I could be like, no, do this, and then tweak it, and it would actually respond. ChatGPT would just give me back the same thing every time, and it got really frustrating after a long time. So um, it's like finally they set it, sent it to therapy and taught it some basic lessons. Now, do you need to unlock your inner creative genius? Gemini is your muse. It can help you brainstorm ideas, write different kind of creative text formats, and even overcome writer's block. It's like having a great creative partner who's always on, always full of ideas, and never judges your questionable taste in music. So you might think all this power comes with a price tag that would make your wallet spontaneously combust, but fear not, Google has made Gemini surprisingly affordable, making it accessible to everyone from bootstrap companies to small fortune 500 companies. So I know that when I looked at the cost of Gemini, it was about two thirds the cost of ChatGPT. Very, very reasonable. And it integrated right into all of my Google stack. So we use, here at Startup Pack, we use Google for all of our 
email and chat and by i was able to go and turn on gemini at a fraction of the cost of what we were paying for uh, chat gpt and then better yet it also integrates into all of our products it'll integrate into google docs it'll integrate into gmail uh, it's everywhere we want it to be so if you want to chat with someone who speaks a different language, Gemini is your poly is a really good help. It can understand and respond in multiple languages, making it a valuable tool for international businesses, globetrotters, and especially for those of us who work with some offshore folks. So it's like having a universal translator implanted right into your chats and emails, which is great. It's also a great research ninja. It can access and process information from the real world through Google's Google search. So it will access things online, giving you instant access to everything from the latest scientific breakthroughs to the most obscure data. It's like having a personal librarian who lives in the cloud and looks at your search history and can work with it. Now, Gemini is also constantly learning and evolving. Google is pumping a ton of resources into Gemini, like it's a bottomless pit of caffeine and neural networks. So new features, new capabilities, new updates, it's updating really fast. I find that it's updating much, much faster than ChatGPT, which would take a long time to get new, new things rolled out. So Gemini plays really well with others, I found too. It's integrate, it integrates seamlessly with Google suite of products like Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Cloud. This opens up a whole world of possibilities for automation, collaboration, and increased productivity. So it's like having a Swiss Army knife for your digital life. So if you're a big Google user like I am, then you got to plug it in. Um, and let's let's go and review what their uh, announcement was like. Um, let me get their their Google's announcement up here um, because this goes over some of the next chapter of what Gemini Two looks like, right? So let me get my screen switched over here. Now, the, this is from directly from uh, Google themselves, right? The next chapter of Gemini era for developers, right? And they talk about how they're building with Gemini 2.0 Flash, and the 2.0 Flash is more powerful than 1.5 Pro. And so you're getting this, you get new output modularity. So you can have multilingual uh, native image output, right? So it actually will give you natively generates images and support conversational uh, multi-turn editing. So that's pretty awesome, right? Because you could it, it actually took the top off this car, right? Um, comes with a ton of other native tools, uh, which allows you to train using foundational capability of building agent experiences, right? So this is going to be really helpful as we start to move forward, as you can start to build native tools with it. They go, uh, they also give you multimodal live API. So developers can now build real time multimodal applications with audio, video, streaming inputs from cameras or screens. So it allows you to take multiple inputs from multiple sources and integrate them into what you're seeing there. It also is enabling the evolution of an AI code assistance. Now, again, I'm a huge believer in using this for building out some of your benchmark or some of your base template codes, some testing, but everything should be absolutely verified by um, a human. I, I definitely question these statistics here to achieve 51% of SWE. Now, again, it's achieving 51% on some tests, right? And this is a very biased test, of course. I'm going to rate this more in the 15 to 20% range, which would be nowhere near, you know, hey, slap this code and put it into production. No way. If you're looking for some boilerplate code, very handy. Um, overall, I use uh, AI for a lot of different things, for um, checking text, for giving me ideas, for doing a lot of different things. Um, there's a lot of things that I will use different AI tools for, and I found that Gemini to be much better and specifically more trainable than uh, ChatGPT. So I'm a huge, uh, so we definitely here at Startup Hack switched from ChatGPT. We canceled all of our ChatGPT subscriptions and moved over to Google Gemini. <clears throat> now, do I believe it's gonna do the dishes for you? Absolutely not. Do I believe it's gonna solve world peace? Definitely not. That'd be terrifying. But I ultimately think as a tool, it's one of the better tools, and I believe that they're iterating faster. I like the way that it integrates into all of my other uh, Google products. So um, what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I love to have a great discussion. Love to hear your thoughts. Have you tested out Google Gemini? Are you so ingrained into ChatGPT that you can't get out? 
Let me know your thoughts because I love to have a great discussion. Here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps, as well as to build custom software solutions for companies. So reach out because we'd like to help. Make sure you subscribe, like and subscribe. And we've got a big offer for you today, so check this out. Want to become a software developer but don't want to spend four years in college and rack up massive student loan debts? Think you need technical expertise to get started? Welcome to Startup Hack, a better way to start your software career without student loans and years without income. One-on-one tutoring is incredible so you never get stuck and have guidance through the whole process. No technical experience is necessary. Learn at your own pace and in your own space. Startup Hack has worked with local state agencies in your area to make it so that qualifying students can get the program costs covered entirely and students can start earning while they learn. Hi, I'm Jacob and I completed the full stack development course offered by Startup Hack. One thing setting Startup Hack apart from any other coding bootcamp was the quality of one-on-one tutoring available. All of the projects that we did were challenging and thought-provoking, but left me feeling very accomplished and very prepared for my first job that I was offered just days after completing the program. Hello, I'm Tom and I completed the full stack development course offered by Startup Hack and I must say that it was an excellent experience. The tutors is what set this course apart from others. They were knowledgeable, experienced, and always available to help provide me with guidance and support. Do not hesitate to take advantage of this affordable and efficient software development course. Complete our three-month coding bootcamp, gain hands-on experience, and land a paid internship. With two years of experience, on average, our graduates are making over $80,000 per year. The three-month program includes technologies from Microsoft, Google, and Facebook. No debt, just a quick path to earning. Check out StartupHack.com to code your future and start today.